Okay, Milan. I'm uh, hearing some weird noises coming out from uh, from you. Can you say something now? Yeah, I don't hear you. So uh, if I can get confirmation from production, if it's uh, Milan or me that are having issues. Okay. Hello? Again? Oh, now we hear you. I think it might have switched up to my uh, webcam mic or something. It was it was a pretty cool sound. It looked like it sounded like you know the old video cassettes. If you were uh, kind of uh, trying to trying to uh, get them to the to the start, and then like so that in between that back. sound of a uh, of a fast forward or fast backwards video cassette. It was it was kind of weird. Glad we sold it. So, who do you got this game? Do you think uh, RCY is gonna have a redemption game, or Shopify is gonna continue there on their speed? I I'm gonna go with Shopify, but it, if I look at the drafts, I actually favor what Young G got. The thing is, whenever I see an alchemist on a team that I do see as the Ooh. superior one, it does it does go it does go the way of the alchemist. Actually, don't have to think away from it, but I, I, I mean, yes, I think the Yang Ji has a better draft than the last game, but still, like, uh, I cannot escape feeling that Shopify is gonna outrun them once again. <laughs> Kid track, he can't get back to lane. We're seeing this so much, nobody can fight a level one gyro. It's, it's just dumb. Is there like a support that they can stand his ground versus a level one gyro? Not really. So not even like a tree end or undying, you know. If he skills rocket barrage, he's just way too strong in an open field. Oh, easy course. Do you remember when Gyro first got added into Dota 1? Just how much damage the rocket barrage was doing. I still remember it to this day. I was just dying to it and I was so pissed. That it is, it is able to do that much damage. Speed, though, is taking a lot of damage in this bottom lane. That's not gonna change. I don't remember that, but I also don't remember seeing Alchemist kill the Aces Prey low one last time, but I was actually theory crafting it today. If Alchemist lanes against the Darcy, he can just kill the Aces Prey, not the stun. Well, that all the Darcy wants to do is to push the lane into you, but the ace spray nullifies all of it. Yep. He started off with it, and it's uh, looking pretty solid for it. Easy. You want the early CS on the Alchemist nowadays. You want a really good laning stage, and this is an amazing start for him. But mid lane is going really well. For the Ember, once again, Yopaj is crushing it. This definitely shouldn't be as big of a difference as it was in the previous game. Oh, Theo. I mean, it just... The mid lane, he's gonna get the courier, no stick for the lion. Pretty big pickup. I mean, the courier kills, they don't really matter unless they kill the items that are being delivered. And that's what it's very good. Like, the goal is, uh, it's inconvenient, but when you lose like a stick, it might make a difference between winning and losing. To continue on the thought about the mid lane, like this reminds me of like when I used to play with Quinn in Quincy Crew and he would play against like a tier 2 mid laner or upcoming mid laner, he would just, he would just cool them. Like he, he, he would just demolish them no matter matchup. Yeah, it's not, it's not even funny. That's why this guy was uh, top of, uh, of the leaderboards in in America for like years and years. Usually in, in Europe, we would see people switch in top one, but Quinn was at the top in NA for forever, pretty much. Now let's see. So zero to zero in terms of kills, but in terms of gold, already a 1k gold lead, and it just comes down to this ES advantage. Even the Nyx Assassin is, is farming. Well, I want to look at that top lane, right? I, I really don't know what to expect from uh, from Saberlight and his Nyx. 
I mean, not much on the lane. It's just on the lane, he's just happy getting his own things. Like right now, 19 to 18 last is super happy. Like, action starts when he gets the level 6. Or if like, Lion or Morph messes up. But overall, just super happy. I guess you stay only with one point in the carapace. There's uh, I, I could see him. No, I mean, start... that's a big, uh, that's a big misconception, actually. Like I've talked to some Nyx experts and like, if you watch like, you only get one point in the Mystic Flare, and then like obviously you max your stun, and then the sec you don't max the Mystic Flare before the carapace, because oh, okay. you don't play for like multiple flares, you play for like a one punch burst, right? Okay. Okay, that actually and makes a lot carapace of sense. And the carapace actually scales like really hard. Yeah, I know. I, I mean, it's I, one of the I better. Haven't... Yeah, I haven't you played haven't what? much. I didn't play much Nyx ever since they changed the uh, the second spell. So I'm I'm not really sure how uh, how much it can do. I don't have the feel for it, but I, I can I can understand what you're saying. Yeah, I mean, it's just kind of natural to think, oh, I want to max Mystic Flare and just spam it, but. You actually don't get to spawn bottom lane, Arteezy, and Kid Track. Ooh, Arteezy taking a lot of damage. He'll get the stun off and gets MSS, but only after he dies. So MSS is the one who gets the first blood. If he had thrown out the concoction beforehand, maybe it's a first blood for Arteezy, but definitely a uh, a big kill on that bottom lane. Uh, he, he got surprised by the level 2 rocket or that. You know, level 1 hurts, level 2 demolishes. Uh, literally demolishes. Dart easy got demolished there in the uh, the bottom lane. But also, RCY got demolished in the mid lane once again. The glyph will get used. Yopash, is he gunning for a kill with the TP from Kitrak? They might be diving this one, but every single support is rotating to the mid lane. Swashbuckle is available. RCY taking some damage. That's 2D from Kitra. Gonna be going into the creeps. Not gonna be enough. Now Yopaj going in. RCY doing a lot of damage. That's Rocket Barrage. It's hurting them so freaking much. And Yopaj needs to get himself away. RCY will finally take down. It is gonna be the Firefly that finishes him off. MSS a little bit too deep. Theo is... Trying to bait them in into this fight as Dubu does get the deny on the shield room. So very nicely done by him. I mean, they need to start putting respect to MSS name. He's just doing way too much. They they're like they're like not respecting him at all, and he's just killing uh, heroes left, right, and center. Like not really killing. He only killed Kid Track twice, but I mean, once at easy one Kid Track, but he's just doing so much damage. But let's see what happens with the Wisdom Rook. Hopefully, they get one this time on Yangji, Kanlu. Yeah, MSS is already waiting, but actually look at the uh look at Theo coming over and the TP from the Nature's Prophet, it's probably ready, so uh this is dangerous for MSS. Who gets it? It is gonna be Theo. It secures it. Saberlight gets it on the other side, and Theo might pay with his life gonna coming escape? in. There's the hex actually coming in. Kit track the the blood grenade, amazing. They have another one as well. A few more hits onto MSS. He's dead, and Dubu is gonna be following through. This is a complete disaster. At least, at least he gets the Olicor. But it is such a small thing to to gain after losing so much. Uh, just as I said, man, like I hope they get the room, but they lose another wisdom and not only lose the wisdom, they also feed the lion after TP and the, and the gyro. Silver lining, they do get the bad rider, but at what cost? At what cost? I guess it's still fine because the lion got the experience for the, uh, for the bad. Did so lion get the experience? Oh, yeah, no, I mean, you mean for the bad. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's no, 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 really no, no, no. nice of you. Ah, he's gonna get saved. Here comes Saberlight to help, and the Mind Flayer gets him the kill. Speed is gonna die. Ulti from Kid Track. He's already level 6. MSS. We talked about his damage, but that's gonna be even more. Dubu now dropping low immediately. He's gonna start sucking the man out of Yopar, but Theo is gonna be sucking the life out of Dubu with Yopar with the Arcane Room, just finishing him off there with a sleight of fist. Just another great kill in Shopify Rebellion. They're just on another level today. 
Yeah, I would agree. The, this speed, this like being everywhere at the right time is just it's turning to be a bit too much for the for the Dubu stack, <laughs> Yang Ji, Ganlu. Yeah, it's the Joe Bosch. He wants more. He still has that arcade. Only got the kill. He's gonna get hexed up. The damage might be enough. He's gonna have the flame guard. Will turn around. The Nyx Assassin not even coming over. Yopash is doing it all on his lonesome. Will be getting out while nice trying try. to kill Dubu unsuccessfully. I, every time I see this Remnant play, you know, it's, now it's a super calm one, but it always reminds me of the Ana. I feel like he's the first one that ever did it. Do you remember that one? Yep, yep. I remember it. He was... Uh... I mean, he was godly on the Ember. He could do anything on the hero. It was just dumb. Just how how cool and collected he was when playing it. Not really making any mistakes. On stable construction, Arteezy. Going on to speed. DPs are coming in. They want it dead, though. Uh, they have the Rolling Thunder here. RCY coming over. Arteezy, however, he does have the Chemical Rage. It should be going down. Kitrek, however, no way in hell. They be surviving this one gets the spell off of Saber Light is coming. Guys, they want a stun on RCY. He stuns himself, but here comes Saber Light. We'll get the stun off. Mind Flare to secure the kill. Speed is dead. RCY, however, still hiding in the trees. Now oh, they know where he is. Took the damage from the Iron Shell, and then they will easily find him and easily finish him off. Yamsen. Next on the menu, chasing him down, Theo is just being annoying, but actually with the Ember Spirit being in the vicinity, Yamson could actually go down, so Edifice Chains will connect. Let's see if this Morphling will evaporate, he does have four stick charges, Arteezy, he really likes stunning himself, Yamson will get a long stun on the Opar, but it's not gonna change the outcome, and the outcome is his own death. Really quick rotation from the Spotify, I'm Shopify, I'm sorry. Like, we keep saying about this, like, every time, let's just look at what Dubu died before we continue. Easy peasy, 6k lead at minute 10. Every time they make a move on the Ang Ji, they're just like, it's like Shopify already knew what they're gonna do. And they're super ready to react. They always have vision, they always have an idea of what's going on. They've also taken down the mid lane tower, so the aggression is gonna be even easier. To use and RCY has been found by Saberlight. He needs to run this Ember if he comes over. RCY is just dead. Uh, he might be dead even without it. Mind Flare? Bye bye. That's way stupid too much amount damage. of damage. This is like. I'm, I feel like Nyx is probably the most underrated hero in the competitor right now. Now hopefully we will be seeing more of him speed, he gets the vacuum to the wall, but they're just walking through the wall, no problem, head first, they're gonna break you and your wall. Speed, just like a, uh, a certain president won't be able to finish that one off. Mm. Yopash? Who wants Dubu? Yeah, uh, misses Poor Dubu, the slide not even level 6. I mean, both supports, they just, the wisdom runes are way too important. Both supports lacking the level 6, they're just lacking the tools to fight. So, what now? Shopify, they are 10k gold ahead, and it's gonna be even more. Teezy has the Radiance, and he's gonna have a Blink Dagger after he finishes with these stacks, which is pretty much gonna be now. Yeah, I mean, like... Their life was not bad enough already. Yopar is going to catch the MSS with the Mage Slayer. He doesn't really care about the magic damage. Oh, we can track really deep, deep in. And this is what we see from the Nation's Prophet all the time. Hero is very hard to bring down. And Morphling died to the ulti of Kitrak, who gets denied by a neutral creep. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, Yang Ji. Yulan is starting to uh, laugh at the misfortunes of Yang Ji Gan Lu. There's the Dagon and the Mind Flare. More than enough damage to finish off Dubu. RCY gets that high. He's only level 7 on this Pango. It's a disaster. Yopash, will he check? He'll check. Oh no, the Iron Shell oh. caught him. He knows. Now he uh, knows 100%, but actually gets himself away. Everybody's coming back to life. I mean, it's going from bad to worse to disaster. I don't know. I don't know if this game. Let's let's look from the other person. I don't 
know if this game could go any better for Shopify. Like this is this is insane. Whatever they want, Dubu has a finger. He will try to change it. The Olicor is definitely in position to go down, but they've already found the back line. Again, the wall will be built, but it won't be doing anything once again. As Yang Ji lose another hero now looking towards the line. The finger of death is ready, but death, it is only gonna be his own. He doesn't have vision of Theo. And he won't even have the damage, even if he does use it right now. Theo comes over. This is how you do the killing, my friend, as Yopaj is finishing off his mid lane counterpart. He is level 12 compared to the level 7 of the Pango. It is not even remotely close in this game. Stop, stop, please. They're already dead. Just stop it. 15k, 16k lead, and then 14. This is. Probably the biggest stomp of the tournament so far. Yeah, and we and we've seen these close qualifier yeah, teams play <laughs> versus open qualifier ones. We we have seen some stomps, but this is this is probably the biggest one. Yamsun, Kitrax got the pingy vision. Him for a second there, but they will find him in the end. Uses the adaptive strike on Yopash, pushes him just slightly. They have the lasso, will keep him in place and ultimately bring Yamsen down. Damage more than enough. That's just another kill under the belt of Shopify Rebellion. Make it another one. Dubu is just praying or running away. Leave me alone, please. Just leave him alone, Saberlight. It's not fair. And actually, they're going to be bringing all of the heroes. They want to all die together. These are real teammates, Milan. Being together, die together, lose together, everything together. At least, at least they are on the same page. I mean, even in a like a slightly even game, the Knicks can be like a super annoying factor. Like that you have to to think about all the time, but in this kind of in these tombs, he's just like he's just feasting, you know. Yeah, he is. Uh, look at the net worth of the pango. It's it's as disastrous as it can get. He is. Ways below enemy supports. 2k below them. The stun gonna be beautiful. RCY, why he got the rolling thunder off at least. Maybe they can try to uh, can Yopash not even close. They're just all dying. Yopash will finally fall. Kitrak in a very uncomfortable position as well. Though he's standing his ground and there's the ulti. He gets a triple kill just by standing his ground. Trying to survive will be very successful at doing so. Kitrak is just too big of a boss and the Snicks illusion not even close to bring him down. Yopaj, the only casualty for Shopify Rebellion and they get themselves a nice good team wipe. I mean you can't blame Yang Ji Gan Lu, they're trying, they're smoking, they're trying to use their heroes to the best of their abilities, but at this point it's just turning out to be too much. Even the Nature's Prophet post five getting a triple kill, they just have too much advantage. They can't even leave the base. MSS leaves the base. He's waiting maybe for somebody bigger. Doesn't even use the stun. No reason to even attempt it. Saberlight kills MSS, though he would have killed anyone who steps outside of the base. He tracks setting up the vision. Slide of his chains on the lion. There is gonna be a Spirit Vessel and three hits are gonna do it. Kitrak gets the kill. They found the Morphling and he's gonna be no more. At one point, do you say it's enough, guys? We, we don't want to get smacked any longer. I mean, that point was like five minutes ago. Right now, <laughs> right now, they just, I don't know, it just feels weird to call like GG when your tier 2 towers are alive. You just don't evolve in such a way that you don't give up so easy anymore. It's kind of seen as sort of toxic, but I don't see a problem with it in, in the game such as these. 24 uh, lead. obviously they don't know it, but it's just way too much. Look at the net worth. <laughs> it's all five heroes. Don't Shopify. look at it. Don't look. Put the buybacks on. Yeah, put, put the, the buybacks on, on just, please. Yeah, that's great. Press I. Thank you. Thank they need you. to see okay, that buyback. Thank you. Thank you. Th that's better. That's better. Buybacks are very important. 
Oh, I mean, boy. they're winning on the buybacks department. They have three buybacks by fucking by a zero. Oh yeah, that that's that really does change the game. Guardian Greaves not really gonna be helping you there. The uh, not gonna be removing anything other than a couple of uh, stacks there from the. Uh, well, the Path Rider, MSS has been caught. He has been doing quite Great. a lot of damage and not easy. Kill secure. Definitely needed for that kill there. Making sure that Yopash gets the help that he needs. Let's be honest. If there was a fight in the Radiant base and all 10 heroes died, like, they could buy back 3 and Radiant would have 0 and they would probably win. Money changes hands. Uh, that's a really nice assessment, though. I'm thinking more along the lines, Yopaj can get into the enemy base and kill all five of them. So... Alone. <laughs> yeah, that, pretty much. Maybe maybe Ketrak uses the ulti from afar and it just surprises the Morphling, but there it is. Young G Gunlu. I'm thinking, you don't get anything out of this smoke, you just call GG, right? Yes, I mean, this is the, the GG smoke, you know, you don't want to be toxic, just call it out blue sky, you smoke in, you go in, maybe kill one guy, dies five, and move, and move to another, to, to another game, you know, these games happen, and you just have to deal with it. Uh, move to the lower bracket, I guess. This is the upper bracket final. So Shopify Rebellion definitely, undoubtedly, so far the strongest team here today. They are playing out of their minds. Get track, deep is deep between the enemies. He's gonna eat the finger. He's eating everything and they will be finishing him off. Has the buyback if he wants to rejoin the fight, but doesn't have a TP speed. Will be the second casualty for Young Ji Gandu. MSS next on the menu. Yopash dodges that homing missile. Is war Let's see why. Where to run, where to hide, he's gonna get the Vendetta down. The Morphling does survive, going towards the top lane, Yamsen, he still believes in victory, it seems. Uh, yeah, they're still gonna play. I mean, there's nothing much to lose, but I'm really struggling. Does does Gaben even give them 1%? I, I don't No, I, I, think it, I think it is. No, he's giving them 1%. Oh, it is. I mean, there is a chance of like a... Earthquake meteor? or like a meteor, yeah. Uh, oh, there's uh, always a chance. I mean, uh, dinosaurs got wiped out, so uh, maybe. But uh, hopefully that doesn't happen. We uh, we want to see these guys playing Dota for years to come. And Young Shigan, okay, Yamsen, he is he's done with it. Finally, he'll call GG. It had to be him, right? He's the carry player who maybe thought that they could do it. Now he's gonna understand. He just dies to a couple of hits. So Shopify Rebellion in just 22 minutes. But let's be honest, this game was over in the 10.